Hello, I am uh, making this video outside today for, or actually, I'm at a very specific location for a very specific point. Um, the video I am making today is a response to a video by, uh, I don't remember the username, Smith something something. I'll put it up in the, in the description as well as the, um, a link to the video. And I really, um, it, you will greatly benefit by watching the video that I'm responding to first before watching this one. So if you haven't, please do. Um, and, uh, It'll make a whole lot more sense. So I am today. I'm going to hold this up here so you guys can see. Um, we are at a place here. This is called Beluga Beluga Lookout. Um, this is actually right near the apartment where I'm staying in. This is a uh, it, well, it's called Beluga Lookout because that's the mouth of the Kenai River out there. And um, during the um, after the breakup, the ice breakup, uh, this place will be. Filled with eulicon and uh, kind of a small bait fish, and the beluga will come in to feed. So you can actually stand here on the beach and look at beluga. Currently, it is frozen. The river is frozen, and the well, the ocean's frozen for a portion of a ways out. So uh, there's no beluga. The reason I am making this video here, however, is that this is a video response to a, uh, a part of the series by Dr. Terry Mortensen. Uh, I think it was called. Was Darwin wrong? I think, think I think that's the total the name of the series. Um, but he, one small clip of it that was used here was on whale evolution. And um, now this is where Terry Mortensen. What Terry Mortensen does in this video is he shows a um, a clip or a, a slide from the uh, University of California Berkeley evolution website um, that depicts a. According to this is according to Mortensen's video, it shows Pachycetus, um, which is one of the earlier whales, not the earliest, but one of the earlier whales, and then kind of a missing link, fuzzy, fuzzed out image, and then on the other side of it, a beluga whale, and when he cl you click on the link to see what the uh, fuzzed out one is, it's Ediocetus. Um, he then claims to have researched Ediocetus, discovered that it was actually a primitive baleen whale, not a toothed whale like a beluga therefore proving that the site is being deceitful, lying about the evidence of an intermediate form. That's that's the whole gist of the video. Watch it yourselves. I'm not exaggerating it or lying about it. I'm, that's, that's what it says, what he says. So I went to the website. It's a great website, by the way. Um, it's, it is a great resource. And I found the same page he was referring to, and I clicked on it. And what do you know? He, everything that he says is true, except for the fact, get this, that he does, they don't have a beluga whale as the terminal, you know, Pachycetus, Ediocetus, beluga. They have Pachycetus, Ediocetus, and a gray whale, a baleen whale. So they are not being deceitful. There's only one person being deceitful in this video, and that's Dr. Terry Mortensen. Um, and that's just one of the points that he, he outright lies about that point. But the point, what he, what he does do in this is that he, he makes the claim to... Or by making the claim the way he does, the implication is is that all us evolutionists have, as far as whale evolution goes, is these fragmentary skeleton of Pachycetus, which, by the way, we have a lot more of than he shows. Um, we have a lot more individuals than he shows. Um, but that aside, um, we have lots of the links between both Pachycetus and the Archaeocetes, okay, the primitive whales, then between the archaeocetes, the baleen whales, Ediocetus is an example of that, and between the archaeocetes and the toothed whales. In fact, we've got such an amazing unbroken lineage, uh, it's incredible. In fact, it's one of the better evolutionary chains that we have evidence for, at least as it re regards to tetrapods. Um, we have much better invertebrate lineages. So for him to make the, to, for him to imply that this Ediocetus, like our whole theory, our, our whole knowledge of whale evolution hinges on this one fossil that's not even what we say it is, is a lie. And he knows it's a lie. Um, he, the man's been busted lying before. Um, he's lied about Lucy on other talks. He's lied about a lot of things. I'll put a link up to a great website, um, that our, a, a blog, an evolution blog. Um, in fact, they got a great article on him, uh, on Mortensen, on one of his talks. Anyway, so... So anyway, I just I wanted to respond to this because it was it's just such a it's another perfect example, and I know the response, if any, I get from creationists on this is going to be um, some either quoting biblical passages at me, telling me that I'm wrong about 
evolution or I'm wrong about this, not addressing the point that I'm making specifically, not stating, okay, it doesn't matter. Evolution could be 100% false. Creationism could be 100% true. That doesn't change the fact that in the video I am responding to, Dr. Terry Mortensen is lying his ass off, okay? you got to understand it. That's the point that seems to be completely missed. I get these comments, repeated these comments um, about creationism, and the idea seems to be that it doesn't matter that the person is lying because the whole concept is true, I, I, if, that, if that's worded right. Um, it's the same thing. This is what I'll get. Okay, here's a video, a video out there. Uh, somebody's saying that, oh, I don't know, and Dr. Stern and Sussman in the paper Nature said that Lucy was nothing but a knuckle-walking ape. That's been said a lot of times, by the way. And I respond back going, well, here's the Stern and Sussman paper. They never said that. That's all I say in the video. The typical response I'll get is, you can't explain the Big Bang. Not, okay, you're right, they were lying in that paper, but we still believe in a creation. I mean, that would be a, lo a logical answer. Say, okay, you're right. Those people were lying in that video. However, we still believe for these reasons or whatever. Or a rebuttal saying, no, they didn't lie. You misunderstood. Here's what you misunderstood. Or something like that. That would be a legitimate answer. Not completely going to an off-topic, completely different subject, calling me a liar, calling me stupid, because I don't understand a paper that you assholes haven't read. Um, anyway, it just really... It gets to me, and I'm sure the same thing will happen with this one. Um, the fact of the matter is, I'm not, I, I don't care if, if, for this video, for the purpose of this video, let's just say evolution is 100% false, creationism is 100% true, the earth 6,000 years old, and blah, blah, blah. Okay? The fact is, Dr. Terry Mortensen lied about the University of Berkeley website. He claimed that they were lying when they weren't lying. All this video shows is that creationists are a bunch of are so gullible that they won't check the sources. It took me 15 seconds to go to the Berkeley website and verify that he was lying about this, okay? And the thing of the irony of it is, is that even, it has nothing to do with, Ediocetus is a great immediate, it's not just a baleen whale, I hate that word, and it was just a, just a monkey, just a whale, just a blankety blank. Um, because of the fact that Ediocetus has teeth, which no baleen whale, modern baleen whale has teeth, um, at least not in the adult stage. This one had teeth and baleen plates. And, get this, it's teeth, unlike toothed whales or baleen whales, um, they were actually uh, differentiated, meaning it had incisors, canines, molars, something primitive archaeocete whales had, modern whales lost. Modern whales all have, if you ever see a jaw of a modern whale, toothed whale, bottlenose dolphin, for example, they're all identical teeth. They don't have differentiated teeth types. Um, uh, there's a whole bunch of other characteristics of it, the size and stuff. It's, just, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good intermediate fossil, um, like the dozens and dozens of other species of perfectly good intermediate fossil whales we have. So for him to suggest otherwise just shows what another lying douchebag Dr. Terry Mortensen is, and anybody who blindly accepts him, you're just as big a douchebag as well. Um, so anyway, thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later.